So every year we've done a big project here on the farm. In 2020, it was this front fence that spans about a quarter of a mile. And in 2021, we built this greenhouse. It took us about two years to build, and it gives us the ability to start our plants in late winter. Mm. Juicy. And in 2022, we put in this entire outer fence for the aviary, our big aviary project. Still can't believe we have this amazing aquascape pond in here. And in 2023, our big project was building this horse barn. But first, we've got to go back to the beginning. And that is this past February, when this all began. We've been putting off getting horses at a horse barn for years. It's something that Becky has wanted more than anything, but I thought we could build something bigger and better if we waited till some of our other projects were completed. But this year, there were a series of events at the beginning of the year that prompted us to start this year. The first thing we had to do was to get a level spot for the concrete to be poured to be able to place a horse barn on top of. We found this location near the middle of our property on the west edge that we liked and decided to hire someone for the dirt work. Once that was done, we could get the water lines run by our well guy that dug a well a few months prior in December 2022 and run water and electrical over to the horse barn patch. Check this out. It is closing in on the end of April. We've been hard at work at getting different help out here to help us get the progress for this building. Right here are the water lines that are running over this direction. We've got one set up right here. We'll probably put a concrete pad right here and put an automatic water on the far side of this, this area. We've ordered the, the fencing. We're gonna do the same fencing that we did on the front. We're gonna bring it down along the side and we'll make a large enclosed area on the front west quarter of the property. And the last time we showed you the dirt work starting to begin and that has taken, man, about six weeks to for them to initially start to level it out, to press it down to make sure that it was all gonna settle correctly. And then we got the water lines in. And so we've got an automatic water there, automatic water right there. And then we've got a, a hydrant that we'll have in a, a space right out here and then you can see that it's all framed up we've got forms in here look at this we've got drainage all throughout the the front of this area and then there's some plastic sheeting down and then even right here the drainage comes for the whole building comes right out here down this hill and so here in about two hours they're gonna start the concrete pour I'm so excited it's taken us three four months to get to this point it was difficult to, to pick the exact location we wanted this we're still nervous like is this the right spot yeah, where we want to have this it's now or never it's too late to, to change it up now so let's hope this all goes to plan they're smoothing it out that's protecting the water the water pipes we have water coming up through there so after the concrete comes in and then that's poured uh, he'll take the the frames out and then he'll finish up the dirt work and then he'll taper some of this hillside because right now it goes there and then it goes up and then once the concrete's poured, we'll be able to schedule the building to be put in. We couldn't do that. We've been able to order it, but they won't schedule the install for that until the concrete is in place. We can finally do that later today. And then hopefully that'll happen in the next month. In May, June, and July, we worked on the outer fencing for the horse area. We used this post hole digger on our little tractor and I'd drill in the hole as Becky would help keep it level as it went into the ground. Sometimes it would get stuck in the clay. So I just had to wiggle the drill a bit and it would eventually come out. There's 170 fence posts and about 225 boards all the way around. And so we do about 10 to 15 posts every few days when we had some time, dig the hole, concrete them in. And then when we finished a side, we'd come in and we'd do the boards and that would take a few days to get all the way down with the boards. So the day is finally here. The day we're getting our horse barn it built and it's taken a long time to get to this point and we've had some frustrating times and conversations with this company and not because of the of the building it did take about three months to finally get it put up since we had the the concrete put in but they had some issues with just pulling too much money from our account and their issues with that and we finally got it worked out like today so I'm so grateful that it's finally getting started 
And so they came really early this morning. We've got this building going up and they said they'll be done later today or early tomorrow. So, so excited to show you the finished product. This works out perfect. This is our tack room in here. They're still getting this all put together, but this is where our water's at. And so we got a drain that will flow out and we might just put a bucket in here, just something so we can wash our hands or hook a hose up to it. We'll probably spray out the stalls in here. And then in here, they're gonna start to set up the stall dividers. They're not gonna fully set up stalls, but they're gonna have some dividers. So it gives me something to build off of. So it's all coming together. There's gonna be a door down there. And then we've got our hallway here, door, door, tack room, and then all of our stalls right in here. And they said later today or sometime tomorrow, they'll have it all done. So today we've got our stalls almost completed. And so we've got some rubber mats to go under for both comfort of the horses and to be able to eat more easily clean these stalls. So we've got some really heavy, heavy duty mats here. How much do you think these weigh? Maybe a hundred pounds. Count. You can't lift them? You gotta pull them this way. I can only push them. At the end of August, we brought home our first horse, Holly. She was able to use the fenced in area, but we still had a few details to finish in the horse park. All right, big moment here. Holiday is gonna try out her new stall for the first time. You ready? All right, let's show them. So at her previous place, she was out in a field and prior to that, she was at her owner's house and I think it was a pretty small yard. So we're not sure if she ever actually was in a barn. So this will be a whole new experience for her. Hold up the holiday. Good job. Can you go try to close that door? You did it, Holiday. Good job. Good girl. So Holiday's in. We've got this first stall all set up for tonight. So we'll see how she does tonight, and then we'll give you a little tour tomorrow of all the horse barn. So welcome to our finished horse barn and horse yard area. What do we call it? Okay, we screwed that up. So welcome to our new horse barn and five-acre horse area. We're coming through our first gate here. We've got four of these gates around this yard. Each one took about a day to build. I found a website where I was able to get prefabbed metal for each side. It's got a wire that holds it really heavy duty equipment on there. I've built some gates myself before, but figured I'd make it too heavy. So I'm really happy with this. I'll put a link in the description to the company that I used to get those. We have one gate right there. This is our drive-through gate from up by our house. We've got a small walk-through gate at the other end. Someday we want to have our future house up in the middle and so we'll be able to walk in that way. We've got a drive-through gate behind the barn over there and then we've got a drive-through gate down here at the front. And as I said at the beginning, we've done some big projects. We did this front fence about a quarter mile of fencing and so this year we spent the entire summer fencing around this entire area we did some really what I'd call heavy duty fencing with this wood fencing we thought about doing it cheaper and quicker with T posts and some type of wire just to get it in but we're thinking about putting some other animals in here and so we really wanted something sturdy that could handle anything we put in here one of our big goals was to have automatic waterers everywhere in here and so this is our outdoor water we had our well guy run the water right through here over to the horse barn. And so we had a line come up right here. I had a friend that helped me hook up this water, thank goodness, because I know nothing about plumbing. This water is bolted down. I think it's absolutely gorgeous from Richie Waters. It's automatic, so there's a float valve in there, fills up the water, and then I can easily drain it. And so we can drain the water to clean this out whenever we need to. So just like that, now it's plugged back up. Water can fill up 
and it's all cleaned out. And then we've got electrical inside, so it actually has a heating element. So this metal bowl will stay heated in the winter and it won't freeze, which is huge for us because we're always trying to break up waters for all of our birds and even our cows. We have one frost-free hydrant out here and we've got plans for this one. We were thinking about having an area to clean off our horses, be able to spray them down. And so we're thinking about putting some kind of concrete pad out here and then being able to clean off the horses right here. In the video where we got holiday, you saw us building this dry lot with my dad. And so that's been a great place to work with our horse. We want a bigger training ring out here at some point, but this has been great so far to work with the horse and then be able to keep her in at night, be able to go from the stall to the dry lot if she chooses. Some of the reasons why we decided to do a horse barn and not have our horses just free range in a field with a little bit of a shelter, we wanted to have a actual connection to our horses, a relationship. So we wanted to have a stall for each one have a tack room for all our equipment. This is probably one of the only times we've actually built the the barn or the place for the animal to live before we got the animal. Uh, normally we just get the animal and then we figure things out later, but we kind of thought this through and I think it turned out great. Um, we originally wanted to just do two stalls and we were like, well, we're gonna eventually get more horses than just two, so why not just do four? So we just decided to go out and, and, and get four stalls and so we would always be prepared. Never have to um, wish we didn't do something. So I think it turned out great. So here's the first horse stall where we put holiday last night. And so we just added the mats in and then there's a couple features in here that were advised by our horse trainer, Carrie from Little Pallet Farmhouse. And so we've got these drains this one channel drain that goes the entire length of the building so it starts way down there comes down here goes down outside a pipe and then it drains down the hill right there so each one of these stalls has got its own automatic frost free water initially we were advised by our well guy to put in basically outdoor waters he's used to putting those in for cows and I ordered those and then I thought, how in the world am I gonna build a stall around it? Because you basically have to put it down in the middle. It'd be just like our outdoor water where there's a trough basically on either side. So I had my friend that helped me put in the outdoor water. He also helped me put in these and he really, he said he's put in a lot of these and he's never put in one quite like this. And he really was impressed by the whole, the heating element inside there. The switch off valve for it is down there and then it comes through the side and then it's fully wrapped with a heating element. And then right inside here, there's a float valve and then the water fills to a certain height. I'm able to actually have all four of them on right now, but only this one is filled up. So you can move the float valve and so it won't fill up water if you don't want it to. And then I set it up, Becky gave me this idea to do a latch on here. And so then I can open this up and access any of the, the stuff on the inside because initially we were gonna screw it in and then we thought if I needed to get into it quickly, I wouldn't be able to. We built the, the height just under about five feet. If they do have a problem with their next door neighbor, then we'll build up some kind of protection right here in the middle. In each stall, we've got one door to the dry lot and we've got one door that goes to the middle hallway. Each stall is 12 by 12 in size. And then we have a six foot wide hallway that's 48 feet in length. So we got a lot of hooks that we've hung outside their stalls. We wanted to hang their bridles and their harnesses. Um, ropes, different things we use. There's stall cleaning equipment here. We got hay bales here, but we think we're gonna door that into the tack room later. The company that we used for this building, I don't think they had necessarily done horse stalls, but I was able to have them put in these, these dividers here. So I had something to build off of for these stalls. Otherwise I just would have had to put in more posts. I put in these posts here so that I could put in these gates right here. So you saw the first stall, We've got lights over top because we were able to run electrical in here when we ran it with the water lines. So these individual lights, there's one over each stall so we can see here at night if we need to work with them. Uh, one thing we haven't run yet, we've got two things left, I think for this whole place. One is to put outlets in between that stall and that stall and this stall and this stall so we can put some fans for in here for the summer when it's really warm. And then we also need to put some type of water way to clean out all of these stalls. We have one frost free hydrant here in the tack room. And so we'll have a, a sink that this will pour into right here. And then we'll bring a water line over here and do some type of hose reel right here that we can pull down to the stall, go in here, wash it out. Water goes down the drain to the end and we'll be able to clean out all of these stalls. All right, we've got our tack room. We will have a little sink here, stainless steel sink, 
hooked up to the water. We got our fridge that stores some of our drinking water in here. We got some of the saddle mounts here. Store some of our tack. This isn't our saddle, is it? No, this is borrowed from a friend. We need to get some saddles and some bridles. We'll work on that. We got our roll-up door to help us bring in hay and feed. Hopefully it's tall enough for Jake. <laughs> and then in here we have lights and power as well. And so we've got an outlet in here and that's pretty much it. It took us about eight months to run the water, electrical out here, do the dirt work, concrete, put in the building, and then put in all of the stalls. Almost seems too simple, but my goodness, it took a lot of time to get this all together. So what do you guys think? Anything we're missing in here? Anyone who's kept their horses stalled somewhere or that has a horse barn? What kind of things do we still need to add here? We're still looking to finish this up. I'll probably put some boards on this side, maybe a few more outlets throughout. So we were just driving over here. We gave her option to be in the stall or in the dry lot last night. She was just in the stall, so I think she's getting pretty used to it. There you go. Hey, on. This is to keep the flies off their eyes. She normally doesn't mind it too much. Flies are so bad right now. There you go. Hey, buddy. You here to set the horse free? Yes. I like your cape and your headband. Oh, there she's gone. All right, so it's seven, almost eight months later since we started this project. What will you take away from building this whole area, fence post by fence post and stall by stall? what will you remember most about this project? I'm just doing it as a family. We did it by hand, put it in every post, uh, put up every board. We didn't necessarily do the barn, but we ordered it to exactly the way we wanted it to be. And we did the, you did the stalls. So we did everything by hand. So we always have that to remember. You excited to finally have your horses and horse barn? Horses have always been my dream and I'm glad I get to have them now.